Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Rocket Down 2 game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math and fun games to play, as well as teaching tools to use, and there's never any membership or sign-up requ required. Okay, when you start the game, this is the screen you'll see. And let's go ahead and take a look at the game. I'm going to go ahead and click Play. And at this point, you'll have this screen. It'll tell you the instructions, but I'm not going to read that since we're going to go over that. The buttons right here, these control, the, the, this controls the music, and this controls the sound effect. So we're going to go ahead and shut off the music. And it has a slicer there when it's off. And I'm going to leave the sound effects on, but if I wanted to turn it off, I'd click that, and you'll see the X there over the sound effects. Okay, um, this is a remake of the uh, original Rocket Down game. It plays very similar to that game. However, there's quite a few uh, differences and improvements. And, and uh, specifically, the graphics are improved. And we have, uh, instead of just one level, there's four levels, like you see right here, with uh, the top level being in an untimed mode. And then the next level down, this level is a beginner level, and this one is the advanced level, and this one the expert level. The really, the only difference between these three are the amount of time that you have to answer questions before the rocket crashes. Um, so the beginner has way more time than the advanced, and that has more time than the expert mode. And we'll take a look at each one of them and, uh, in just a minute. Uh, the, the More Games button here will take you to our website. The video button will take you to the page on our website with this uh, uh, video on it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at the untimed version. That'll give me more time to explain things prior to uh, the rocket. Uh, in other levels, the rocket will move on down. I won't have as much time to show things. So this, uh, this is what the uh, level will look like. And as you progress through the levels, there will be more of these fuel tanks to get. And the object of the game is to get all the fuel tanks, and, and then the rocket will land safely, and you'll be able to go to the next level. Now you determine which uh, fuel tank fuel uh, tank to get by what the spaceman here is telling you, and he's right now he's saying get the fuel located at two three. So I'll go ahead and go two over and three up, and you can tell I got the uh, answer right because the fuel went into the rocket. Now, if I get one wrong, he's saying get the one at six across five up. Let's get this one. And he went down. The rocket goes down. And you have uh, two chances. And he'll, if I miss another one, the rocket will go down about here. And then if I make another mistake, it crashes. But let's go ahead and finish out the round. Six, five, six, one, six, zero and one three and you have a successful landing it says next level there's my score so far that i've played and actually this is the best score i've had uh since i've been playing so if i quit and uh say went to the menu and came back in this will still be here but this score would go back down to 50. so this is the best i've done so far and this is the current score and uh, in fact, we can take a look at that now. Let's go ahead and bounce out. Let's get back in the untimed mode. And it's if I went to a different quadrant, it would have uh, to different modes. So the high score would be zero. But uh, this is the same version, and it's telling me that the score is zero. And uh, the best I've done so far is 50. So if you uh, make too many mistakes, let's go ahead and make some mistakes here. And you've got to be careful. You can't hit this too fast. I can hit it real fast right now, and it'll just uh, hit the same one over, and it'll crash. I hit it again. There's two and three. Okay. Let me show you what I meant by what I was just saying a second ago. So let's get it. If I was to click this one real fast, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It just uh, goes and crashes. So you've got to be careful clicking those. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, that kind of shows you how to play now. This is untimed version, so the rocket just sits there unless you make a mistake. Now, in the time version, the rocket's slowly going to move down. And as you give it fuel, you'll see the rocket fire a little bit. And it slows it down a little bit for a little bit, for just a little bit of time. And then uh, once you get all the tanks, it'll make a soft landing like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the beginner level. 
And actually, I'm going to go to the four quadrants. Now, you notice, since we've never played this mode, this mode before, the uh, high, the score zero, but the high, the best so far is zero. I'm going to need to get the fuel so it doesn't crash. So one across a negative one, negative one three. You notice it slowed down, and the rockets fired a little bit when I get it. Three across negative one, three across zero, and successful landing. And when you're ready, just click next level and you'll have some more fuel tanks. Now, if I make errors, you can see it does the same thing like the uh, the uh, untimed version. So, okay. So you played that level. Now, I'll show you the expert level. And you've got to be pretty good to play this. And uh, let's go ahead and go quadrant one since that's a little bit easier. See, it's dropping way faster. <clears throat> And and a successful landing. Now there should be more tanks next time. So see it drops pretty quick. You just don't have that much uh, leeway there. So um, that's pretty much how you play. The advanced level is in between uh, the speeds of beginner and expert. So you can try that out and work your way up when you get really good. You can play the expert mode. So I hope you have fun playing this game. Uh, it's located at mathnook.com. It'll be in the coordinate grids uh, game section. And uh, I hope this video has helped some. And thanks for watching.